during my first semester, I remember one day I was walking to class. It was a beautiful day. I think it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was crossing Main Street and I just face planted, like right on the ground. My first weekend at school, I was definitely very nervous to be here. And I managed to lose my wallet, canceled my cat card, had to find the police station later when I did find my wallet and my cat card, got lost along the way, somehow lost my cell phone, and, and later that day ended up in the back of a police car going to pick it up. It was quite an adventure. My first day was pretty exciting in the dining hall. I really made some mistakes. I tripped and I fell and I broke the plates in Harris Millis and the whole cafeteria just started clapping. So that was kind of embarrassing. What I love about the nursing academic program is that it's such a tight-knit group. The support from both classmates, professors, and clinical preceptors is just phenomenal. I've never felt more guided by everyone that I've been involved with in the academic program. It's a good balance of the science aspect as well as the human aspect. You can still have all the knowledge, but you really need to take that personal time with your patients and work on some of those skills as well. I really have a passion about exercise and movement science. I don't only look at UVM as a place where this is my academics, which is important, that's why I'm here in the first place. But I see it also, this is like part of my family. I'm a catamount, I'm on this team, and it's been much more than just a place where I study and open books. So. First starting out in the clinical program was terrifying for me, and I think I can kind of speak for my classmates in saying that. One word, scary. I was terrified the first day. Adrenaline rush. Terrifying and exciting at the same time. We must have drove the nurses crazy at the hospital just because of our lack of experience and just we were really timid and shy. To go from that to kind of where we are now and doing our senior practicums where you're so comfortable with patients and now we're doing more advanced procedures and um, really using the knowledge that we've gained. I guess getting started in the uh, clinical setting was a tough experience at first. You have learned some things in class, you've tried it on your friends, but you've never really done anything for anybody who you've never met before. You want them to trust in you, where you really don't trust in yourself quite yet. By your senior year, it just comes naturally and you're doing things just like the professionals. It's been awesome getting out into the real world and practicing what you have been learning. So I am with a wellness coordinator in Shelburne. We design wellness programs for the teachers and faculty of the Chittenden School District and with a strength and conditioning coach slash athletic trainer who owns his own business. We give um, all of our patients a little tattoo in which we line them up to so we have to you know physically t like spread their skin a little and put a needle in it so, and leave them a tattoo and I've definitely heard some stories where patients have heard that it was a student and the first time they like went to tattoo them were like, ah! It's so <laughs> scared the student half to death. I'm confident now in what I do at the hospital. The thing from my first day at clinicals to now, I have matured and moved from being shy when taking care of patients to actually like being confident. The relationships that you have with the professors here are pretty incredible. I talk to a lot of my friends at, at their schools and they talk about doctor so-and-so and professor so-and-so. Here though, I talk to all my professors and I say, hey Jim, or uh, I call them by their first name. That friendship that you're able to build with professors then helps you to learn and makes it a very comfortable learning environment. So that's something I'm definitely gonna remember and I tell people that all the time. And there was only eight of us in the program and I really felt like our advisor got to know everyone individually. We weren't just a number, we were a face and a personality and she got a good picture of all of us and I feel like we've made a lasting relationship with our advisor especially. I felt very supported through my whole time at UVM and anything that's come up, whether it's been in my personal life or academically, they've really been there for me and UVM has just been a huge support all through my four years. Just being in this program and how challenging it is you find yourself wanting to learn more. For the rest of my life, no matter what, I'm going to be in classrooms, educating myself and learning about patients and what's the newest best practice. And I think that's really important in, in my chosen field and in life in general.
The education here has definitely taught me to think critically, not just be a mimic of what I've seen the therapists do. I'm gonna miss Vermont the most. I love UVM, I love the weather. Most people hate it, but I love the weather. And I'm just gonna miss Vermont. It's a nice laid back atmosphere, people are nice. It's not hustle and bustle all the time. I'm gonna miss my advisor. I've never met like anybody so genuinely warm. My classmates are such a huge reason why I've been successful. They're, they've been supportive, we've worked together in so many different projects and clinical experiences that it's like, I'm just gonna miss having this group of people with me in my walks of life because I feel like we're all gonna go so many different ways and we'll all be so successful, but it's been wonderful to have all of these people to share the experience with. I think a lot of people in our program are gonna be really good at what they do. And I'm really excited to see what all of the CNHS students do with their future and lives. For class of 2011, I know we are great and smart, and we should try and bring positive changes to the health field. I think everybody should just remember that no goal is too big and no dream is too big. You can really do anything. Right now we're so young and the world's at our fingertips, so go out and seize every moment you can and make a difference in people's lives. Everyone always says that college is the best years of your life and you gotta cherish it, don't waste a minute, but I really think that it's now that we have our education of college and it's what we do with it now. So I'd say if anything, take what college has given you, go with it, have fun with it, get a job that you want, get a job that you love, and have a great time. Thank you, CNHS. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, CNHS. Thank you. That's it. That was it. Thank you. Thank you, CNHS.